Hi, I'm Emily Muehlstein with the Gulf of Mexico Fishery Management Council, and this is a public hearing video for Reef Fish Amendment 39, which addresses the regional management of recreational red snapper. The Council has been working on this amendment for quite some time. They started discussions in 2012, followed by scoping workshops in January of 2013, and public hearings in August of 2013. Then, in February of 2014, the Council decided to defer action on Reef Fish 39 until progress was made on apportioning the red snapper quota. In October of 2014, the Council took final action on Reef Fish Amendment 40, which was sector separation for recreational red snapper. And then in October of 2015, we are hosting another round of public hearings. And the document has come pretty far since the first time we did public hearings in August of 2013. And we expect to take final action in January of 2016 after we complete this round of public hearings. And we expect to take final action in January of 2016 after we complete this round of public hearings. Regional management would enable areas of the Gulf to modify management measures to better suit the needs of each region. Under regional management, the regions could manipulate bag limits, season dates and structure, and also closed areas in federal waters. The purpose of regional management is to take into account variations in the fishery and provide flexibility in how the recreational harvest is managed to tailor regulations to local situations, provide for sustained participation in, by fishing communities in the Gulf, and to address regional social economic concerns. So this document's pretty large. It's seven separate actions, and I'm going to walk you through each one. As we go through them, you'll notice that there's alternatives for each action. In some cases, a council has selected a preferred alternative, and that's just to indicate sort of what road they're leaning towards. Um, at the end of this presentation, I'll let you know how you can submit public comment so you can tell us which alternatives for each actions are best suited for you and why. Starting with action one. So the council is going to have to decide whether they want to either delegate limited authority to the regions to specify their own management measures, or if they want regions to submit proposals to describe their conservation equivalency measures for managing their own portion of the recreational sector's annual catch limit. So if a region elects not to participate or makes a plan that is inconsistent with the requirements of the program, then the federal waters adjacent to that region would be subject to federal default regulations. There are five different alternatives for Action 1. The first is the no action alternative that would retain the Gulf-wide federal management of red snapper in the federal waters of the Gulf of Mexico. Alternative two would delegate some management authority to the regions. Alternative three, the regions would submit proposals to National Marine Fisheries Service describing their conservation equivalency measures that the region would adopt for the management of its portion of the recreational sector's annual catch limit. Alternative four is the council's preferred alternative, and regions would submit proposals to a technical review committee describing the conservation equivalency measures that the region would adopt for management of its portion of the recreational sector annual catch limit. And that technical review committee would review and make recommendations on the plan submitted by the region, which would then either be returned to the region for revision or forward to National Marine Fishery Service for a final review. And then alternative five, which is also a preferred alternative of the Council's, would be to sunset regional management after either 10, 5, 3, or 2 years. And the Council's current preferred is to do that after a 5-year time period. Action 2 considers regional management and sector separation. So in Amendment 40, the Council apportioned the recreational annual catch limit between a federal for hire and a private angling component of the recreational sector for three years' time, and that was 2015 through 2017. Under all of the alternatives, except for the no action alternative in this action, the sunset provision will be removed. The Council must decide whether to end or extend sector separation, 
and if the council chooses to extend sector separation, it will have to decide whether to apply regional management to both components or just to the private angling component of the recreational sector. There are four alternatives being considered. The first is the no action alternative, which would effectively keep sector separation in place until the sunset. So for the years of 2015 through 2017, separate component annual catch targets would be established for the federal for hire and private angling components of the recreational sector. Under alternative two, regional management would be applied to the private angling component only. So that would keep sector separation in place and regional management would apply to the private angling component while the federal for hire component will remain under federal control. Alternative three would also extend sector separation and a region would choose to manage both components or just the private angling component of the recreational sector. And finally, alternative four would effectively end sector separation and apply regional management to the entire recreational sector. So let's go through each one of those alternatives a little bit more in depth. Alternative two, which effectively extends sector separation, would apply regional management only to the private angling component of the recreational sector. Moving on to alternative three, which would also extend sector separation. Regional management would apply to both the federal for hire and private angling components of the recreational sector. Regions could opt to manage both the private angling component and the federal for hire component, or they could opt to just manage the private angling component of the recreational fishery. And in that case, the federal for hire component would become part of the federal for hire annual catch limit, and they would be managed federally. And finally, alternative four, which would end sector separation. Regional management would apply to the entire recreational sector. The private angling and federal for hire components would be managed as a single unit by each region. Moving along to action three, establishing regions. So alternative one is the no action alternative, and that would retain the Gulf as one big region. Alternative two would establish an east and west region. In the east region, we'd have Florida, Alabama, and Mississippi, and in the west, Louisiana and Texas. Alternative three is similar. It would establish an east and west region. However, in this one, the eastern region would be Florida and Alabama, and the western region would be Mississippi, Louisiana, and Texas. Alternative four would establish five regions representing each Gulf state. And then preferred alternative five would establish five regions representing each Gulf state, which may voluntarily form multi-state regions with adjacent states. And now action four, modifying the federal minimum size limit. So right now the current minimum recreational size limit for red snapper is 16 inches. In Texas state waters, the minimum size limit is 15 inches. The council is considering establishing a minimum size limit because of biological concerns with high grading and discard mortality, and also because of stock assessment complications when we have different minimum size limits. Alternative one is the no action alternative, and that would retain the current federal minimum size limit at 16 inches. Alternative two would reduce the size limit to 14 inches. The council's current preferred alternative, alternative three, would reduce the size limit to 15 inches. Alternative four would increase the size limit to 17 inches. And alternative five would increase the minimum size limit to 18 inches. And next up is action five, closures in the federal waters of the Gulf. So currently, each Gulf state has authority to open and close their state waters to fishing. National Marine Fisheries Service has authority to open and close federal waters. Under regional management, a fixed close season in federal waters would be removed and each region would establish their own fishing season. Those anglers could then fish in state and federal waters from the region. When a region's season is closed, landings in that region would be prohibited but the federal waters adjacent to the closed region would remain open to allow anglers from other regions to catch fish and land them in their own region. There's only two alternatives here. The first alternative is the no action alternative. 
regions would not be allowed to establish closed areas in federal waters adjacent to their region. Alternative two is the council's preferred alternative, and a region could establish closed areas in the federal waters adjacent to their region in which the recreational harvest of red snapper is prohibited. Now, if those federal waters are closed adjacent to a region, then those federal waters must be closed to all recreational anglers. So anglers from a different region would not be allowed to come into the federal waters adjacent to a closed region and fish. Now there are two different options that the council could choose to select under preferred alternative two. In option 2A, areas of the Gulf may be closed for up to six months of the year. In option 2B, no more than 50% of the federal waters adjacent to a region may be closed during the year. Next, Action 6 considers apportioning the annual catch limit among regions. Alternative 1 is the no action alternative that would not divide the recreational annual catch limit among different regions. For alternatives 2, 3, and 4, the annual catch limit would be apportioned based on average historical landings. In alternative two, that would be for the years 1986 through 2013. For alternative three, that would be the years 1996 through 2013. And then alternative four would use the years 2006 through 2013. And then alternative five, which is the council's current preferred alternative, would apportion based on 50% for the years 1986 through 2013, and then 50% for the years 2006 through 2013. So that would give half the weight to our longest time series and half the weight to our most recent time series. Alternative six is also a council preferred. That would exclude some years from the selected time series. Option A would exclude 2006 landings, and that is a council preferred. And option B would exclude 2010 landings, which is also a council preferred. Now alternative seven considers apportioning the annual catch limit into eastern and western regional annual catch limits that are divided approximately at the Mississippi River based on regional biogeographical differences. And finally, alternative eight would apportion the annual catch limit so that each region allocation provides an equivalent number of fishing days to all the regions. And finally, we move on to our final action, action seven, which considers post-season accountability measures. Alternative one is the no action alternative. If the recreational sector annual catch limit is exceeded, then we would reduce the recreational sector annual catch limit the following year by the full amount of the overage. So that would be applied across the board. The council's current preferred is alternative two. If the recreational sector annual catch limit is exceeded, then we would reduce in the following year the regional annual catch limit of any region that exceeded its regional annual catch limit by the amount of the overage in the prior fishing year. There are two sub options here. Option A, if a region has both a private angling annual catch limit and a federal for hire annual catch limit, the reduction would be applied to the components that exceeded the applicable annual catch limit. Option B, if a region has both a private angling annual catch limit and a federal for hire annual catch limit, the reduction would be applied equally to both components. The council would really like to know what you think. We've made this video and we're hosting public hearings across the Gulf states because we rely on public comment to make fishery management decisions and would like to hear your thoughts before taking final action on Red Snapper regional management. You can submit your comments online by following this link and you can contact us at golfcouncil at golfcouncil.org. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this presentation and send us your thoughts.